Okay guys, we are going to start another chapter 3 video here. Um, we're working in section 3.3 which is all about solving equations. And the learning target for today or the essential question that we're going to focus on is just how can I solve for a variable? So that's really what we're working on. How can I solve for a variable? And go ahead and write today's date, whatever today's date is. Make sure you jot that down. It's always on my whiteboard behind you if you need to look. And we are going to kind of get into a couple of notes that we're going to write about. So if I told you that I had x take away 3 plus 2x, and this is all I knew, x take away 3 plus 2x, at this moment in time, I cannot solve for x. Like if I said, I want to solve for x and find the answer, what's x equal? That's completely impossible. And that's because if I want to know what does x equal, I need an equal sign. So over here, I'm going to put a little star and say there's no equal sign. And with no equal sign, all I can say is, well, I don't have an equation. The only thing I have here is an expression. Expression. When there's not an equal sign, we say, oh, this list of stuff is an expression. And we can do things like we can simplify it. Um, so I'm going to write, I can simplify. That is something I can do. But I can't solve for x. I'm, it's impossible. It's, it's actually impossible to get an answer and be like, well, wonder if x is 5 or if x is 2 or I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to figure it out because there's no equal sign. But I can simplify. That is something I can do. So let's practice that simplifying process one more time here. So we like to put the like terms together. So like this x and this plus 2x would combine very nicely. In fact, I'm even going to like cross it out so I remember I used them and then this minus 3 could go kind of on the end I'll cross it out there's nothing to put the minus 3 with but I can combine the x plus 2x and say hey that's 3x's minus 3 and then that would be my simplified answer so when I said I can simplify that's simplifying but it's not solving it's very different than solving so an expression is something that cannot be solved let's talk about what an equation is so down below this now I'm going to write over here as a main idea, equation, equation. And an expression and an equation are different things. Equations do have equal signs. So there is an equal sign. There is an equal sign. That's a huge clue. So what I'm going to do for my equation is I'm going to take the same thing from up above, x minus 3 plus 2x, but now I'm going to say equals 5 plus 2x. Oh, now we've got an equal sign, and now we've got what we call an equation. So this thing is solvable. We can do more than simplify. We can actually solve for x. So I'm going to write, we can solve for x. We can solve for x, which is awesome. So we are going to practice solving for x, and we're going to go through what those steps look like. So what I like to do is I go to the equal sign, and I draw a double line or a single line down the middle. I'm going to split this in half so that there is a left side and there is a right side. So x minus 3 plus 2x would be on the left, and 5 plus 2x would be on the right. And I actually can grab my algebra tiles and I can actually build this expression. Watch, I'm going to start building this. So here's an x. Um, it won't be red because it's not negative. It's going to be blue. Minus 3 means I have three units that are red because they're minuses. They're negatives. So there's my minus 3 plus two more x's. There it is. And then 5 plus 2x, let's see, 5. So I have to have 1, 2, 3, oh, can't be red, it's got to be positive 5, 3, 4, 5, oh man, no reds. Okay, there's my 5, plus 2x, so 2 more x's. Okay, there's a picture of our problem. It, it looks like this, x minus 3 plus 2x equals 5 plus 2x. And we are going to go through what we call our legal moves. So there are three legal moves that we can use. I'm going to write them over here. We learned them in the last video. We can flip, we can zero, or we can balance. And sometimes we do them lots of times over and over too. So we are going to go through the flip zero balance process. I'm going to do it once with the tiles and then once by drawing a picture. 
So flip, what would I like to flip? Well, what I wanna do is I wanna separate the numbers and the X's. I want all the little units on the right and all of the X's on the left. We're trying to separate them out. So these three red little units that are on the left need to flip over here to the right. There we go. So now we got a whole bunch of units. That's flip. So I'll put a little check mark by flip. Now I get to zero. I get to look for zero pairs. So zero pairs are when you have something like a negative and a positive. So like if I had a red and a blue together, that would be a zero pair. But in this problem, I actually don't see any zero pairs. Everything is positive right now. So I'm gonna cross zero pairs out. It doesn't look like it's working. Then I go to the last step, which is balance. And balance is when you have something equal on the left and the right side that can come off of the mat. So in this case, it'd be these two X's. Look how they're matching. There's two on the left, there's two on the right. So because of that, we get to balance them off the little teeter-totter scale. They come off at the same time, and we're left with this. And what we're left with is a big pile of units and an X. And we're actually, we're left with an answer. Here's the X. It equals how many little units? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. X is equal to eight. And there's our answer. We solved our equation. Now, using the tiles is kind of fun to do it, but after a while you kind of get tired of like pulling out the algebra tiles out of the bag and, and having to kind of work with them. So we're gonna try to practice in this video just drawing it and not having to actually use the tiles. So let's Let's try without the tiles. Let's do an example one where we use no tiles. Okay, so here is our problem. We are going to solve 2y plus 3 equals y minus 4. 2y plus 3 equals y minus 4. Looks like we're trying to solve for y. So I'm going to put that line down the equal sign. Kind of split this problem into a left and a right side. And then I'm going to start drawing my tiles. So I have two Y's. So the Y's are those long purple ones that look like this. I'm going to draw two of them. So one, two. And then um, I'll put a little Y inside of here. I have to decide whether or not I'm going to shade them in. And in this problem, two Y would be purple and positive. It's not, it's not a negative two Y. So yeah, I'm going to grab my pencil here and just shade them in dark. Make them positive. And then I have plus three, so three units, one, two, three. Those are gonna get shaded in as well. Those are plus, they are positives. And then I have y take away four, so I have another y. Here's my y. Um, it's positive, it gets shaded in. It's not negative. And then I have a minus four. So minus, minus is negative, so I finally have some negatives. One, two, three, four, there we go. All right, there is our visual of our problem. Now it is time for the three legal moves. Flip, zero, balance. So we're gonna practice those moves. Flip, zero, and balance. Flip, what am I gonna